So first we just need to know that mixtures are made of pure substances. All right. We'll get to the difference between the different types of pure substances uh, next time. But for now, we just know that they're made of, diff of pure substances. All right. So for example, you can have a breath of air. All right. That is a mixture. Okay. Now the composition of a breath of air can vary depending on whether or not it's inhaled air or exhaled air. For example, in this example of inhaled air, you have 78% nitrogen, 21% oxygen, 0.9% argon, 0.04% carbon dioxide, and 0% water. We would say that that particular mixture is a dry mixture. Okay? And when we, in an exhaled air, then it's slightly different. It's still called air. It's still a breath. It's just a different breath. Um, and in this case, it's, it has different compositions. So mixtures are defined by their components. All right? Now, um, just a note about water. In this case, when you breathe out um, you know, air um, out of your lungs, the percentage of water went up. And in this case, we're talking about the air is all gas, and the water is in the form of water vapor. It's not liquid water, it's water vapor. All right? We can sometimes in air have water vapor, or excuse me, have water liquid present in tiny little drops. And that would be the case of the cloud in the previous slide, or um, in the case of a foggy day. Or if it's um, very cold outside and you breathe out, sometimes you can see your breath. And that's because the water vapor condenses very fast when it hits the cold air. Okay? But normally when you breathe out, you don't see anything. Although water is present, it's present in the gas phase. We'll talk more later in the semester about the, the actual you know, difference on a very, very detailed scale of uh, gases, liquids, and solids. But for now, I just want you to be aware that this is an air or excuse me, a gas mixture that's components and the percentage of the components is different. Okay, same name, different um, composition, air.